Hello there guys and welcome to episode 4 of the guide to amazing X-Plane 11 scenery. In this episode we are going to be taking a look at all the scenery enhancements that I use to make X-Plane look the way it does in all my videos. It is worthwhile mentioning that apart from the payware airports I use for X-Plane 11, all the scenery enhancements are freeware and links will be provided in the description section of the video as usual. The first scenery enhancement, which appears to be an area of interest for many of you guys, is the cloud and sky colors that I'm using. Now, for clouds, I'm using the um, unique variety pack for X-Plane 11, version 1.5, and I'm using set number 2. After extensive testing of the available weather programs for X-Plane 11, as well as the weather enhancement textures, I have found that the Unique Clouds Variety Pack offers the very best visual experience and performance for X-Plane 11. Installing the Variety Pack is uh, quite simple. Uh, click on download this file. Once the zip file is downloaded, extract the contents. You will be receiving four folders. Unique Cloud Set 1 through 4. I'm using Unique Cloud Set 2. All you need to do is double click copy the resources folder and then uh, proceed to your X-Plane 11 installation and paste the file uh, or the folder here and you're pretty much done. For sky colors I have found that the set that comes with the soft clouds weather enhancement pack is by far the most realistic for X-Plane 11. In order to install the sky color set that comes with soft clouds here are the steps. The first thing you need to do is to download the SoftCloud Art version 1.6. We click on download this file and we wait for the download to complete. Once the download is completed, we right click and extract the contents of the zip file. And then we're going to go to Sky Colors here and we're going to copy all these files. Copy and then we're going to go to Explain 11, Resources, Bitmaps, and then we're going to go to sky colors right click and paste and then you're done one of the other top questions asked on the channel is how do i make x-plane 11 night lighting look so amazing and the answer to this is very simple for the amazing night lighting in x-plane 11 i'm using the brilliant work of this fella here and it is simply a modded lights.txt file so you don't need to install any textures or anything like that this guy is really brilliant because what he's done is just modified the lights.txt file to um, enhance the illumination of buildings and streets. Now you may agree that probably the yellow lights in European countries is not very common, um, but I use it for all regions nonetheless. So in order to install the light.txt file, uh, all you need to do is download the file and then head over to your Xplane 11 installation and go to resources, bitmaps, and then we're going to go to world, lights, and you're going to copy the lights.txt file here. As you can see, the light is here, the, the file is here, and this is my um, previous lights.txt file, which I have renamed to .back, to keep it just in case I want to revert back to my older uh, lights file. Another scenery enhancement that I use in X-Plane 11 to improve the overall visual experience is the Enhanced Vehicle Library. Now the Vehicle Library um, replaces the default X-Plane 11 vehicles. As you can see, we have all kinds of trucks, cars in different colors and models. And in my opinion, this is not really a significant improvement, but it does offer for an enhanced visual experience. To install the Vehicle Library extension for X-Plane 11, simply download the file and then move the resulting folder to the X-Plane 11 Custom Scenery folder. Another enhancement that I use for X-Plane 11 is the Modded Trains Library. Again, not really a significant enhancement in terms of the visuals, but it does add a little bit of visual enhancement to the overall experience. Again, installing the Trains extension version 1.9 for X-Plane 11 is quite simple. All you need to do is download the file and then move the resulting folder into your X-Plane 11 custom scenery folder. 
Another scenery enhancement that I use for X-Plane 11 is the HD Forest, which replaces the Autogen for trees in X-Plane 11. As you can see, those trees are not 3D trees, but they're far better than the default trees that come with X-Plane 11. They offer a lot more variety and provide for a more convincing visual experience. In order to install the HD Forest for X-Plane 11, download the file and follow the instructions available here for installation. Well folks, this is pretty much all the scenery enhancements that I use to make X-Plane 11 look the way it does in all my videos. A quick note to you folks that I will not be posting a video next Saturday uh, and possibly the Saturday after that. Um, I will have to see my schedule as I will be on official business in the US of A. Uh, I decided to take an extra week off which I think is well deserved and I'm going to be visiting some of my friends in California and possibly do a small tour in Las Vegas, Nevada. So folks, I hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.